Hello, in today's video we're going to be installing um, some hay racks that my husband bought for me at Rogers Flea Market last summer. Rogers Flea Market is an outdoor flea market in Rogers, Ohio, and I was so excited when he brought them home. Um, my brother's going to be helping us. He um, has the tools that we need to be able to install right into the brick right behind me here. Um, and so we're going to be doing that and we're also going to be cleaning up the area um, from winter, just the debris and things that, that um, accumulate during the winter months. So hope you enjoy the video, hope you learned something, um, hope it inspires you to try something new at your own home. Alright, let's get started. We're using Tapcon cement screws to drill into the mortar and it says on here see this is a, a 3 16th inch, inch screw uh, diameter so we're going to use we have to use a 5 30 seconds inch that's just slightly smaller bit for uh, for our cement bit and then a number two Phillips for the head Awesome. So excited. Now, here we're going to go in about an inch and a quarter on a 3 16 inch. Um, are you going to have any more than eight, 870 pounds on oh, No, my okay. flowers won't weigh that much. Okay. Neither then, will the dirt. <laughs> then these should hold for quite some time. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so we have um, the hole scored and marked where we'll be drilling. Um, to hang up the hay racks. So excited. Here we go. All right, we're going to use this as the depth gauge. And I'm going to set it to where the depth of the screw, it screws it down just a tad bit deeper than the depth of the screw because the thickness of the metal that we're going to fasten onto it is pretty pretty thin. So it's going to be go pretty deep. Another option if you don't have this guide is to just put a piece of tape like white mm -hmm. painters tape around yeah, and that's then so you cool. stop at the paint and you can do that even when you're whether you're doing in masonry or wood if you want a certain depth you can that's a little trick oh I love it yeah it's like what we did for the sewing machine when you have a wider hem or need a seam somewhere yeah pretty cool Level right here on top. Make sure I stay level ground. Awesome. Safety first. <laughs> Eyes and ears. Woohoo! That's what I say at school. Safety first. That's right. easy that is? Yeah. Is it like butter? Uh, <laughs> maybe not that easy. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so we got the hay racks installed um, last night late, and it was just too dark to film. But this is what we they look like. Um, we decided to put the center one down a little bit um, in case we wanted to put some taller flowers in there. But I really like the way they turned out. And I'm very thankful to my brother who had the tools that we needed um, to be able to do this project. So um, what I did was the large racks on either side had fishing wire wrapped around them. You might have noticed that um, in the close-up shots. Um, so I took some scissors, cleaned all that up, and what I'm going to do right now is this ledge needs swept off, and over here um, there's just a lot of leaves and stuff from the maple tree behind us. Um, this is the stairwell down to my basement stairs, and it just is full of leaves and things that have just accumulated over the winter. So I'm going to be cleaning this area up, and the tools that I'm going to use, I have a flat shovel, a broom, my garden gloves, and my new um, cart that I just got at a church auction. So let's get busy cleaning! One thing I was taught from an early age was you clean from the top down. So that would work even inside your house. You start up high and then you clean your way down to the floor. Because if I was cleaning up the stairwell first, all of this debris is going right down in it. So start high, clean low. The stairs are all clean. Um, I was a little disappointed because usually down here at the bottom I usually find great big earthworms but there weren't any worms today so I'm a little bit earlier in the season or it's a little too dry but look at this. Look at how nice and clean. All the way up. There we go. Well, I finished cleaning the stairs and now it's time to take all these leaves and dirt to the compost. Now I did empty out about the top third of this pot and I will fill it up with fresh soil um, when I'm ready to plant it up. So I took out the top third and I put it in here with um, the leaves and stuff that I cleaned off the stairs. And we're going to take this over to my garden and put it in my compost tumbler. Okay, here's my compost tumbler over in my garden, and this is where I'm going to put all the leaves that I gathered up off the stairs. Okay, so I got that dumped in the tumbler. You can see it looks like it's full, but it really isn't. The leaves um, take up a lot of space. Um, I will be adding grass clippings to this, um, some compost from the kitchen. Um, wet it down a little bit and make sure I spin it every day or two and in a couple of months I'm gonna have some nice compost to add to my garden all right so I have some yellow and purple pansies violas um, they are for full sun and this is more of a shaded area but it does get um, bright morning sun um, for at least six hours so that's what it says on the tag so we should be good um, and it will um, the cold hardiness is right here um, tolerates frost so these should be good to plant and good to go so there are three rows of four so each container will get four yellow and four purple all right, let's get some dirt in the hay racks and get planting. 
I'm going to be using uh, the Miracle Grow potting mix and I'm going to be adding some biotone um, starter plant food to each of the hay racks. Okay, so I grossly underestimated how much dirt I would need to fill up these hay racks. Um, this is the first time I've ever owned hay racks or been able to utilize them, and so it's a learning curve for me. So um, I'm gonna switch the camera around and show you what I had to do. Okay, first of all, I think I should win an award for gardening on a ledge or at least be um, in the circus or something for doing this. But when I first laid out the pansies in um, the hay rack, I had the idea to alternate front back, front back with um, the yellow and the purple. And then when I realized I didn't have enough dirt, then I decided just to go in a straight line. So that's how it ended up. And I had to add more dirt to fill it in. So there's the one on the right. Let me move down the ledge. Here is the small one that's a little bit lower that goes in the middle. And carefully so I don't fall. Here is the one on the right. And I just put the pansies in a straight line. Um, the other thing was this middle one right here. Um, I had originally thought I would put four blue and four yellow in each one. But that one being so short, I didn't do that. So I had an extra um, pansy, which I did utilize in the bigger ones. So I'm going to step back and give you a view of what they look like completed. Okay, so here they are finished. Um, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see them. Now, um, I don't plan on having the pansies in here all summer. I just was so excited to get them planted up. And um, over the next couple months, they will grow up and we'll be able to see that color over the top of the hay racks. And then when it gets too warm, I'll move them somewhere um, that'll stay cool under a tree or something. And we'll plant those up using the Thriller, Filler, and Spiller formula for um, planting planters. And I can't wait to show you that when we update the hay racks. But overall, I'm so excited to have this project finished. and for how it turned out. So thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe and um, click on the bell so you'll get notifications about future videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!